I caught you with your pants down. No. Good gravy. I'm bringing you the tech news. The least you could do is put on some frickin' PJs. I've made this joke before, let's move on. We got some fresh leaks concerning AMD's second gen Threadripper processors. These leaks are piping hot. Careful, don't burn your hands. Anyways, first we got a screenshot of a system running a Threadripper 2990WX, boosting up to 4.1 gigahertz, which is decent considering it's a 32 core, 64 thread chip. Hardware database hwbot.org was also just updated with listings for the 2990X, 2970X, and 2950X, indicating the launch of the chips is taking place soon. And finally, Canada Computers appears to have inadvertently listed the 2990X for 2,400 Canadian dollars, which is around 1,850 US. That, that's expensive. But what were you expecting? Cores just don't grow on trees. I mean, I mean they, they do, but that's a different, that's an apple core. It's inside of an, enough. Processors aren't the only thing being leaked. We're seeing news about the upcoming Google Pixel 3 XL, 2018 iPhone, and Galaxy Note 9 in the lead up to their launches. An XDA forum user posted photos of the Pixel 3 XL, which has sadly joined the cult of the notch. Although while it has two front-facing cameras, it's only got one rear camera. Leaks have also pointed to a Pixel Stand device, which sounds like a wireless charging dock that kind of turns the Pixel into a smart display like the one Lenovo just released. Now, the iPhone leaks point to a three-device lineup once more, a base iPhone, a new iPhone X, and an iPhone X Plus, all with face scanners and no home button. And a filing spotted by Sam Mobile reveals the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 probably has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The Note 8's was just 3,300 milliamp hours. So that's, that's a lot more. We should hear more about these phones when they launch in a month or two. Obviously, that's when you hear about them. And China is coming up in a big way, economically, politically, technologically, and America's military isn't having it. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has launched a $1.5 billion program to fund advances in chip technology. It's called the Electronics Resurgence Initiative, and it's- an oven. You wanna improve chip technology? You gotta bake them just right. <laughs> Bake chips in the, this is not that time, but chips, Linus. It's called the Electronics Resurgence Initiative, and it's apparently meant to give American companies an edge in continuing processor advancement, which is slowing due to the limits imposed by Moore's Law. Moore's Law being the generalization that the number of transistors fitted on a chip doubles every... Two years. Oh, you got it. I wonder how DARPA feels about AMD basically working with China to produce Chinese versions of their Epic chips. Why can't we just be friends? We could send over some Winnie the Pooh bears as an olive branch. It's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Private Internet Access VPN. If you're looking for an easy to use VPN solution that gives you real privacy, like you've chosen to become a mountain hermit to avoid any and all human interaction type of privacy, then look no farther than PIA. They've got servers in 28 countries to help you get around geo-blocking, multiple options for strong encryption that keep your data out of the hands of snoops, DNS leak protection to protect your browsing history, and even PIA Mace, a built-in tracker and malware blocker, which also sometimes works on bears. So for a secure, multi-platform browsing experience, go check out PIA at the link below. On to the quack bats. Turns out we didn't just dream that Intel posted the Z390 chipset and then removed it. Asus's entire lineup of Z390 motherboards was leaked in a company document. So while it appears that you will be able to use Intel's upcoming ninth gen chips with Z370, if you want a different number on your, on your board, because it looks nicer, you can buy that upgrade. Magic Leap has released new demos and mock-ups of its augmented reality operating system, which will almost certainly not look like the demos and mock-ups shown. But, I mean, I guess the company's graphic designers are having a great time, for now. Man, a lot of leaks today. The Mavic 2 Zoom and Pro were leaked in an Argos catalog, while the beefier Mavic 2 Enterprise was leaked on DJI's German website. The main upgrades appear to be new cameras designed with Swedish camera maker Hasselblad, which must be good based solely on how hard to pronounce their name is. Autonomous driving startup Drive.ai is releasing new cars onto the road today, featuring four LED screens meant to communicate with pedestrians because there's no one in the driver's seat to give like, the wave, or alternatively, the bird. I'm not gonna do it, I can do it, he can censor it. Depending on the context. Give the bird, flip the bird. 
but you don't flip the wave. Anyways, and a Steam game called Abstractism, developed by Ocalo Union, has been removed from Steam following reports that it was mining cryptocurrency using players' machines. Seems like Valve should be doing a bit more policing of what games it allows on its store, or we could just keep the task manager open the whole time and track GPU usage. That, yeah, yeah, that works too. Hey! That's it for TechLinked. Where did the time go, huh? Hey, don't worry. We'll be back on Wednesday and Friday. Until then, like, dislike, subscribe. Don't go outside, stock up on saltine crackers. You can forget the last two extra.